Hi, I'm Maddie. I am one of the riders in the 2018 Mongol Derby, and I just got a new camera, so I'm testing it out. I just got back from the barn, and right now I'm packing to leave for New Mexico tomorrow, where I'm gonna be riding my last big training ride with my trainer, Kristoff. We're gonna do 150 miles. This will be my last real gear test and fitness test for me before I kinda of start to taper off and relax before the derby. So just wanted to show what I'm bringing. Would love advice from previous derby riders or anyone going this year. Um, I've had a lot of fun seeing what everyone's bringing, so wanted to share what I'm bringing. So yeah, I don't know, first video. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> okay, so here is all of my gear. Um, as of now, this is exactly what I'm bringing. If I make any changes, it'll be by next week. So this is pretty final. Um, I've been riding in this stuff through all of my training. Uh, might as well start at the bottom. So I'm wearing NYX wear briefs. I'm um, sorry that my underwear is now on the internet. They're really comfortable um, and they don't have any lines so you can wear them all day. Then I'm wearing a smart wool bra. It dries really quick and it's comfortable. I'm wearing two XU compression pants underneath my tights. Um, I really like them. These are the high-waisted kind, totally recommend them. Um, on top of the compression pants, I'm wearing Carrots Ice Fill uh, breeches. They have these little carrots that are sticky. I don't know if I can get that to zoom. Yeah, there's dog hair on them. <laughs> um, cool story, actually, these are the same ones I used in 2016. Um, they're super comfortable, they've lasted the whole time, and I really like them. I'm wearing a Columbia fishing shirt, which I love. Um, it's really weird that it's a fishing shirt, but it's um, SPF 50 and this, the fabric is really cool because it dries um, really quickly and it also helps to keep you, keep you cool. So that's important in this heat. Um, at the start of the race, I'm gonna wear my really light Patagonia vest just to have an extra layer. I'm wearing my favorite ever uh, Raquel Grip gloves. I would never ride in anything else. I have a little Nike headband. I have Lululemon um, yoga socks. So these are kind of funny, but they're great because they have silver woven into them, which helps with bacteria, which is gross, but it is something you deal with at the Derby. Um, on top of that, I'm wearing my favorite darn tough socks, um, pink and purple. I wear these everywhere, I love them. I'm wearing my polarized Ray-Bans, um, and also this is kind of like a placeholder helmet for now. I have this exact same style, but in pink with rhinestones for the actual derby, because wanted to be fancy. These boots I love, they're the new um, Ariats. they're super comfortable. I'm just not a half chat person, some people are. Um, really like these, they've got kind of like a tennis shoe bottom and are super protective. So this is section one. This is what's gonna be on my body during the race. Section two is what's gonna be on my back. So I have the, I think it's the Tempest 9 or the Talon 9. It's a woman's Osprey backpack um, along with a three liter hydration pack. This is super comfortable, it's pink, I love it. Um, inside of my pack, I'm gonna have my light pink Patagonia super light puffer jacket, which I'm gonna keep in this three liter um, dry bag, which I love. I've got my um, Arcteric shell. Of course, it's pink, it's super light, and super comfortable. Um, inside the pack, I'm gonna have my batteries, my medical kit, which basically consists of blister pads, uh, bug spray, some KT tape, cortisone, then I also have uh, wilderness wipes, super small brush, eye drops, toothbrush, and this is a container of chamois butter that bikers use. Um, I'm gonna put that all over my skin every night. I've also got my Leatherman juice, my um, headlamp, iodine, and then a big pack of different electrolytes that I've been testing. Um, really like them. I'm gonna take two a day, so every other pack. So that is what is going to be on my backpack. Oh, sorry, I forgot this. Um, I'm also using a fanny pack this time, which is going to go in front of me, and this is what I'm going to carry my GPS in. So this is basically how we do the whole race. I mean, the race will be programmed in here, point to point, and I like using the fanny pack because it's super light. Um, this is from Outdoor Products. It was $10, and what's nice about this is that it's just right in front of me, and it's easy to grab. Um, in here, I also have my sunscreen. Love this stuff. 
And a trick that I used here, which side did I do on here? I sewed the zipper shut here. I have to do it on the other side too. Um, but that's just so it can't open up too much when I'm riding so the stuff doesn't spill out. Um, didn't use a fanny pack in 2016, but I've been training in it and it's dorky, but it's super useful. So that is what's going to be on my back. So the third section is going to be what's on the saddle. Um, we're given these derby saddle bags. Mine is not here. It's in LA, um, but I have one from 2016 that I've been testing. This big silly silver thing is um, my sleeping bag my sleeping pad, and this is an SOL bivy. So this is a little bit stronger. This is the thermal bivy. Basically what I did is um, laid the mat down, laid the sleeping bag on top, and then wrapped it in the bivy. It'll just stay like that. It's super light. I've got a Phantom Mountain Hardware sleeping bag. So I mean, this basically weighs nothing. It just does take up a bit of space, but not too bad. Um, also in the backpack, inside this six liter dry bag, I'm gonna have an extra pair of the Carrots I fill, uh, Ice Fill Britches, a smart wool long sleeve, um, super, super warm shirt for sleeping in or for the cold days, an extra pair of the NYX Wear um, briefs, I love them, and then also these darn tough socks. So this will all go into the dry bag, which will go with this guy in the backpack on the back of the horse. Sorry, in the bag on the back of the horse. So this is the Derby saddle. Um, this is the exact style that we're gonna be riding in. It's a Franco C. Um, I forget the name, of course, but um, I've been getting used to it. It's super, super different than what I'm used to. Um, as you can see, it's covered in horse hair. I've added kind of like an oh shit strap here, um, just something extra to hang on to. Same with this. This is a stirrup leather that I am gonna put around the horse's neck if I remember to. Just kind of a last minute thing to grab onto. Um, I've got a girth sleeve here, which will go over the girth they give us just to protect the horses. Um, this is my stirrup and leather setup. I got these from, um, I think, Distance Depot. I love them. They're just the wide endurance stirrups, and then these are the um, barefoot endurance fenders. I got the kids' fenders because I am 5'2". <laughs> um, a couple other things I'm bringing over here. This is just for start camp. Um, this is just pink paracord, pink zip ties, pink duct tape, and uh, pink vet wrap. Couple really strong carabiners. And these guys, I forgot to mention, I did get these from Distance Depot. Um, they are gonna hold, help hold my saddle bag um, to the saddle. So of course they're pink, I love them, they're super strong. Um, this is basically it. So this is what I'm bringing on the derby. Not a lot, if you have advice, I would love it. Um, all of this weight that I'm carrying comes out to 10.4 pounds. So I've got an extra half pound. Um, I'm gonna fill that up with Justin's peanut butter. So this is what I've got and we leave pretty soon. I'm so excited. Thanks for watching. <laughs>